Hey to YouTube. Okay, so this is your Beltane Needs. I'm trying to keep my Beltane ritual in one video. So, Beltane Needs. Um, so, for your this, you will need um, matches or a lighter, a fire safe pit, cauldron works as well, uh, one bell, a, one colored candle for each quarters, as well as flowers are optional. And during my ritual, you will see flowers around the circle. Um, a candle for each, the god and the goddess, illuminator candles, four ribbons, one for each quarter, um, and you should make it to where they match. And I'll give you an example of that as well. Um, a ribbon for the circle itself. Um, I choose purple because I don't know, purple is like a passionate color. It's the color of silver and purple, the color of the goddess to me. So purple is my spirit color. Five dowels for sticking them in the ground. Okay, so you don't necessarily have to have a big bell. Let me not as poop. There she is. <laughs> you need a bell. Um, and it's good to have it on hand so you can put it wherever you want. Um, your illuminator candles should be in spots where it will help light up the rest of the altar space. Um, your god and your goddess candle. I chose red and white because, well, like last year, my colors for Beltane are red and white. Um, this is your fire offering that you'll need. Um, there's roses in mine. They were given to me last year for my anniversary. There's some heather in there, some rosemary, some cloves. This is cinnamon bits here. There's St. John's wort for protection of the family. Um, then I scattered the rose petals around my altar as well. And then I have the stones, just different stones, my offering stone, because we're going to be digging in the earth. You have to have offerings. These are flowers that my husband bought me yesterday. They're so pretty. It's going to be a part of that. Um, my God and Goddess Love Spell there. My Beltane Oil for anointing my candles. Um, the God statue is larger for me in this one because it's really his time to shine, which I know everything should be green, but like I said, to me it just make, makes sense to have it red and white. Um, so obviously, you know, your altar is going to be the color that you want it to be. Um, and on the quarters, I have these, which I just got at Target not too long ago, and um, I'm going to start using them for every spot. They're glass, but I have one for each point. So this is West Water, um, and my candle I chose is blue for water. So on the end of a dowel, I tied a blue ribbon, and I promise it'll all make sense later. And here is my purple ribbon for the circle for spirit. Um, and then again, I chose green candle, green ribbon. Um, <laughs> it seems a little odd, but red candle, red ribbon for fire. And then over here, I got a clear candle holder because you can't really see air unless it's cold outside or bad air. Um, a creamy colored candle options were limited at the time <laughs> and um, I chose a gray ribbon for kind of like um, smoke and so yeah um, that's what you'll need for the ritual and what I've already actually got started I don't know if you can see it might be hard to see nope you can't see um, I have to make a video for you guys tomorrow um, I this morning uh, the very, very start of the morning, around sunrise, I hung a bunch of prayer ribbons outside and my prayer windsock. So, yeah, yay! There it is. Um, your needs for Beltane. Oops, sorry, forgot I was holding my camera. So, yeah, yay! I'll see you guys back in a little bit. Blessed be.